I didn't go to seminary as a God struck me dead kind of person. I didn't go jumping up and down thinking, oh, Hercules, Hercules, I'm gonna be a minister. The day that King was assassinated, April 4th, 1968, was the end of my first year at college. I, the, the day he was assassinated, I became, I moved from being a Negro to black. I started wearing an Afro, dashiki, a black power fist, strap up sandals, it was nation time. And so I was reading all this radical stuff, I was reading all this uh, revolutionary, I was reading everything about, I remember reading before the Mayflower about Lerone Bennett Jr. and I couldn't believe the gifts and the graces of African people to civilization and I'd never read that before. Um, so I went to seminary knowing, questioning, if Christianity is a slave religion, black people, we gotta give it up. And if it's not a slave religion, we gotta know why it's not. And that's why it's so timely right now to have this conversation because it was James Cone who called almost 200 or more of us into the ministry because it was the first time I read, it's a sin to allow anybody to diminish the Imago Dei inside of you. It's a sin to wallow and shuffle. It's a sin to allow any white person diminish your, the fact that you've created an image of God. Because all before that, before King, before Cone wrote Black Theology and Black Power, we were told, take it, wallow, shuffle, turn every cheek, because when you die, you pie in the sky, and it's sweet by and by, there's gonna be more stars in your crown. You gotta show white people how to be Christian. Uh, just keep, just kind of, don't, don't talk back, you know. Not only would it keep you alive physically, but it would be more uh, uh, accolades for you when you die. And Cone just said, that's a lie. Thank you.